Today we're doing a cold weather cocktail that'll help make sure you don't freeze your knucks off. My name is Leandro Demon Riva, and this is The Educated Barfly. One of the best cocktail channels. Love everything, even on the second channel. Let's get into making the cocktail. So today's cocktail was created by a good friend of mine named Dave Schlachtenhofen. Yes, Marius, that is his real name. I remember Dave. Oh, you remember Dave. Do you, can, do you think I could spell his whole name? Um, yeah, you should be able to. Okay, let's see if I can do it. All right, it's S-C-H-L-A-C-H-T-E-N-H-A-U-F-E-N. Schlachtenhofen. Did I do all right? S C H L A C H. Wait, now I'm getting all up in my head. But it's Schlachtenhaufen. So it's it's S C H A L C H Schlock and then T E N H A U F E N Schlachtenhaufen. Uh, so Dave Schlachtenhaufen is a guy that I met in acting class here in Los Angeles. We both attended the prestigious Playhouse West that gave birth to Dave Franco's career. Did I say Dave Franco? I meant. I meant the other Franco, James Franco. It gave birth to James Franco's career, and I guess Dave Franco's career too, because without no James Franco, there ain't no Dave Franco, is there? Nope. Um, so we met there, and then uh, uh, we were both bartenders at the same time. He was working at a place called Cut in Beverly Hills. This is a Wolfgang Puck restaurant that is all about meat, and they had a really not a very good cocktail program, and Dave took it upon himself to learn everything about cocktails and help to raise up the quality of cocktails that they were doing there. So he put his indelible mark on there, and then he decided to have kids, leave LA, move to Colorado, and become a a physical therapist. So that's what he does now. It's a big blow to the bar world, really. Uh, anyway, Dave is constantly texting me new drinks that he is trying out. And today we are gonna be making one of his drinks. Uh, the drink that we're making today, he wanted to call it Nux Alpine because he was using an Alpine. Well, we'll just get into that later. Let's just actually make the drink, shall we? We're gonna be making use of our holiday syrup. It's our holiday syrup. The other thing that we're gonna make use of, just FYI, I gotta go get in the house. So you can back with the other thing I forgot, which is uh, apple juice. He actually made an apple cider pie spice syrup. I'm just using my pumpkin spice syrup and then cutting it in with some apple cider. So hopefully my substitutions of this cocktail uh, give me a good idea of um, what he actually made because uh, I'm making it a little bit differently. The other thing that bears mentioning is that he used an Alpine walnut liqueur, um, which I don't have. So I'm just gonna be using the regular Nocino walnut liqueur for this cocktail and hopefully, uh, yeah. I think it's gonna be good. I don't, I don't see how it can't be good. All right, first things first. We need lemon juice. All right, so one ounce of lemon juice. Our Half an ounce of our Nocino. And then we're gonna do three eighths apple cider or apple juice. It's weird because I see things on the shelf that are labeled apple cider that are non-alcoholic and then also things that are labeled like cloudy apple juice. But isn't apple cider cloudy apple juice and then also there's hard cider, which is like the alcoholic apple cider. <laughs> like if you press apples into juice mm -hmm. and you don't filter it, right. I've always grown up like thinking that that was cider, right? I, when you say apple cider, I'm always thinking, yeah, either it's either alcoholic or it's like uh, carbonated. Like right. Sparkly. But like I used to go to um, like farms up in New Hampshire when I was growing up and then they would be like, press your own apple cider. And that's basically just pressing apples in an apple press and you get the unfiltered juice they bottle and give it to you. There's your apple cider. Apple moust. Apple moust? What's that? It's like a smashed apples. Oh, smashed apple. Like like the actual smashed apples or the juice from smashed the juice apples. from the smashed apples. It's called like apple moust yeah. in Norwegian. Mm -hmm. Apple moust. I just like the sing-song quality of the language. And three quarters of an ounce of our pumpkin spice syrup. And then, ooh, we're gonna be using some stink. I almost said stinky. <laughs> we're gonna be using some, let's try that again. Ooh, let's do that again. Ooh, we're gonna be using some Stiggins Fancy Pineapple Rum. I haven't used this stuff in a long time. We're gonna be using one ounce of Stiggins Fancy. Look at that, we got a donation bottle from the uh, virtual bottle program. So we got to thank Taylor Stevenson and Ernest Forney for this bottle of Bonded Applejack. Thank you very much, guys. I'm doing one ounce of Bonded Applejack. That's it.
All right, just so everyone knows, everyone's been asking me about these new tins and they're not widely available yet. Why do we start using them in videos? Because I like them. They're so weighty and nice and heavy. As soon as they are available, I will let you guys know. All right, keep it a shake. I'm gonna shake what your mama gave you, you know what I mean? Shake that money maker. And then I think we're just gonna give it a nice little lemon twist on here. Spritz. Then we're just gonna do the traditional, like so. And give this all sippy poo. Oh man, that's good. It's a little tart, although I will say, I think I should have dialed up the sugar a little bit but it's good. So, so really nice and tart from the lemon. You get that apple. I mean, let me gather my thoughts here. What, like what I'm tasting. So you get that nice tartness from the lemon and then you have that walnut that comes through the mid palate and then it's got a nice spiced element to it. You can feel the pumpkin in there a little bit and the pineapple rum coming through. I gotta say, not bad. Although I will say, I don't know if it's just that my lemons are super tart. I might want to cut this down to three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice. It's a little bit tart, or maybe dial up my, my simple syrup a little bit more. But all the elements are there. I mean, this is a fantastic like harvest cocktail. So the name of this cocktail was up for debate a little bit because Dave texted me the specs. And then I uh, was like, what's the name of your cocktail? And he was like, ooh, I don't know. And then so we went through a whole bunch of different um, names. Uh, I'm gonna read some of them to you. Maybe you guys can weigh in. I kind of wanted it to just be Dave's holiday tipple, but Dave didn't want it to be Dave's holiday tipple. So he said Nux Alpine. But the thing is, is that I can't very well call this version of it Nux Alpine because it doesn't have the Alpine walnut liqueur that he was using in it. Um, so then he said Alpine Apple Punch. Not bad. Alpine Apple, all one word, Alpine Apple. I kind of like Alpine Apple Punch. All one, uh, Alpine Apple Punch. Alpine Apple Punch. I like that. All right. I don't know. Up to you guys. You guys can pressure Dave in the comments to see uh, what we will name this cocktail. Uh, it is a fantastic holiday tipple. Yes, I like it. Oh yeah, man, as you know, it's the, it's the spice syrup in conjunction with the walnut liqueur that is just fantastic. So there it is, guys. The Nux Alpine, Alpine Apple Punch, Al Apple, Al, Al Apple, what was it? Al Spiced Apple Punch. Mm. It's either the Nux Alpine, Alpine Apple Punch, or the uh, Spiced Apple Punch or Dave's Holiday Tipple, which I still really like. All right, if you like this channel, hit like, hit subscribe, check us out on Patreon, YouTube memberships. Check out our website, theeducatedbarfly.com for our virtual bottle program, uh, articles, recipes, fun. Maybe Marius will do a little blog post on uh, deep thoughts or something for us at some point. Um, still working on it. And I guess I'll see you guys another time. I mean, I mean, you can make, you uh, can't no, overdose does, on does, almonds. It's such a small amount. It'd be no, very hard to be poisoned by them. No, almonds doesn't have strychnine. They have, uh, I, I know what it is in the Norwegian, it's brosida, but uh, I don't know. They contain cyanide. 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 Yes, I looked it up.